Welcome back to our allies more really not not ours um I've been thinking a little bit on how to proceed because yeah, yeah. We'll kill him and we get some stress which is good oh yeah we get the trade uh, trade athletic definitely we take that that's a good free thing um i've been thinking about primarily predominantly walk working towards um raiding from here on out will be an interesting thing to do luckily our home region is quite decent in terms of size We've got a whole bunch of stuff here which is part of our own region you can see border goes here and then down here so this 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 it's a whole what is this oh no one two three four five five things belonging to us directly pretty neat groups are sieging the enemy to where our allies are going, also sieging the enemy. Oh, we are sieging the enemy over here more. And to pick pieces out of areas which have no chance of turning into a duchy. So we could get this here, Westerland. Let's check the Kingdom of Norway again. Okay, it has 16 de jure counties, so we could form Norway. And pretty much live with it, though. County size does not make realm size, so let's check over here. Where is it? Found a new kingdom. Okay, with a realm size of 30, we could do it. Start the kingdom. Okay, someone got a claim on our stuff because our chancellors are fairly useless. We are returning our troops home because this war is pretty much done. I don't think we're going to get much more out of it. And we did contribute. How much did we contribute? 86%. That's enough. That's enough contribution for you there. So we could take this. That's fine. That's part of the Dutch we already own. What do we have here? Now we're not doing that. Our daughter can be married matrilineally. Australand. Jemtland. Already allied to them. Then no one with a trait. I mean, we could just filter to inheritable. Also, let's reset these filters to what I want them. Astaru and Norse, please. We're keeping it within the culture. And we go with traits inheritable. It's too old. So we go with the youngest of these just to get this in the family. And we want much linearly. Could go with the 43. To yeah, with a 43 old one. Just... No, wait, wait. Until the war is done. How much fame did we get? 300. That's not bad. We'll disband them. 
And now we check around real quick. So we we can attack them. And we do have more troops now. Though they might have an alliance. We could go for subjugation. We would take his primary title, which would split us up. So definitely not that. Could take this county here. Pretty much for nothing at all. So we shall. And it also... Pretty cheap for us. Now we can ransom her because it doesn't matter to us anymore. Let's quickly check what part they're off. Yeah, we own nothing of that. So having it is perfectly fine. Might get us in hot water with them here. We don't mind. Do we have anything? A grand oh, we have a sun here. Let's get uh, an alliance with the Sami. Unspacked. Not even a matrilineal one. Okay. Fine, they don't want to. Their loss. Their loss, not ours. There we go. We are now over our limit. And we have inherited a war. Which is fine by us. Granddaughter. Which we want to go in. Ah! Shield Maiden, maybe? Matrilineal Culture Norse. Legion, Astaru, Heritable, this one here, we're snatching up all the good people. Okay, we need to get rid of this holding, uh, so let's check our succession. Who is going to inherit E3 something? Ah, uh, this here. On titles, you get this here. Because he would inherit it anyway. Might as well give it to him. He has come of age, and she has come of age, our twins. Land. So he will walk around here, getting there. Grandson, who will become a martial focused person as well. No control, yeah, I know. <laughs> Are we doing control stuff? No. Definitely do control stuff. Right, let's set them to raiding. And go raid. Somewhere. What war this time? Ooh, 
Who called us? All against Sweden? We will harass their capital. This guy is getting in so many wars. I hope we're at least attacking something for now. Can I? No, I can't sneak past here. What does Daydreaming of Gold does? Plus three stewardship. Yes, thank you. I take that. Speaking of I take that, let's check out our guys. Maybe increase them. And definitely move away here. Because they're coming for us. Okay, we are a little bit caught and a little bit dead. So much for my fantastic planning. Okay, you want to be a Chancellor? On here. A little bit better than you. And in here we put this guy and you got fired. Wow. We are going on a little journey, aren't we? Goodness gracious. And then champion will be this. How long until they go back? Two months. That's okay. We we set down. I'm I'm done with war. Thirty-two percent. You win it or you don't. That's all I can say. Our control, our low control is causing issues, definitely. Let's see, gathering holds. Where's this? Can we build a holding? More available holdings to construct. We will put all our money in here. Nowhere else to put it anyway. All these are unraised, these we put to two, let's put these to two as well, and these to level two as well. We can deal with a little bit of going down on the on the thing there. <laughs> are we not gonna demand payment from him? Thousand seven hundred. Almost all our troops are there. Chipper. Do we get back in this fray? 7,400 something. No. No. No, definitely not. You cannot raise raiders while at war. Can't I leave this? I cannot get out of this until our leader does. But it's okay. We'll just sit there and do nothing. Wait for this to be over. If the Swedes send their army to us, they will be dead. Because we will definitely defend our homelands. Newly minted coins, yes, indeed. This looks good, That's uh, that's making us stronger as well.
I think we can put both these a little bit higher. Yeah, let's. We will find glory once more. A ship is where you're going. Where will you go from your ship then? That is the big question. Okay, let's see. A guild of stonemasons is, has established itself in the chiefdom of Sorgen. You might lose some coin. I will strike a deal. So do we get um, a great deal, a fair deal, or an unfortunate deal? Raised voices at the thing. Otherwise occupied. Heavy reinforcement raid. Or the land has the right of it, always. Okay, we have a okay dealing. Use some gold, but... And some stuff elsewhere, elsewise. Can this war please be over? Okay, well, they're too big for me to deal with now. Fight this. What we could do, of course, would be raising armies, setting at the furthest points of where they are, as the enemy does. We are fascinated with mods. Are we? Why? Oh yes, very good. Um, I think a house of warriors. We are. I think we are a house of warriors. Oh, pillage. That's. Oh, hello. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a moment. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a moment. This is different. There's new stuff. We got adventure and pillage. Uh, these are the same. Warfare, all these are, I think, are the same, but these are specific up here. So what does this get us? Your friend scheme on vassal. Each of your friend relation gives you three vassal opinion, two popular opinion, plus her. Uh, enemy, hostile scheme, success chance, minus 15%, movement speed, plus 10%. Supply duration plus 100, hello. Uh, gift givers. Deduction scheme success chance. Diplomatic range plus 30%. Dynasty head interaction. Send to the Varingi Varangian guard. Oh yeah. Pillage, let's see. Naval speed plus 20%. Prestige and fame from battles plus 100%. Wow. Army loot capacity. Maximum size of heavy infantry regiments. Practice kidnappers. Ransom plus 50% gold. Gain prestige when ransoming prisoners. More likely to imprison their characters. Enemy fatal casualties plus 10%. Gain gold from battles. 5 gold per 100 fatal casualties. Siege progress, plus 25%. Enemies, counties, loops, essential, extra control when occupied. Hello. Wow, okay, both of these are great. I'm feeling this a little bit more. But I think we'll go for this. Seabulls. Aha, uh -huh. interesting.
Okay, we are done sitting about idly. We will go with our amazing naval speed. Oh yeah, that's quick. There are some troops around here. And it is honest brawl. Hmm. Oh yeah, he'll publicly apologize, the, the fool. Are these actual enemies? I think so, yeah, that was an actual enemy army. But we're at 100%. So, we can leave these out. A new rune stone. Definitely we will do that. Uh, perhaps my vanquished foe... High Chief this Vigdis. Yes. And we'll put it in Sogun. Should we hold the Great Bolt, by the way? Can we? Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do this. The Grand Bolt. Although smaller bolts are held for many occasions through the year, one a decade the Asturians of Gulafingslug come together in a grand celebration and, most importantly, a grand sacrifice. Though plentiful blood is shed for the gods, the meat uh, of the offerings goes to the faithful. Such a rich feast usually makes for an incredible party. Um, perhaps just the people of Odalant. All the free men in my domain shall come. Every lord and commoner. Yeah. We go big because we are about to go on a raiding uh, spree. Okay. So, where can we go? Where is money? 16 gold, 3 gold, 7 gold, 21 gold, 9 gold, 10 gold, 9 gold, 21 gold. Seventeen, eighteen, four, hmm. seventeen, fourteen. Let's go here. That's Italy. They they are not going to raise any troops anytime soon to defend this. Uh, we want a large cattle herd. Good. Can we build something? No. The war camp is still being built. Wow, well, we already arrived. A decent... What will we do? The Grand Bolt. The Bolt can be both grand and a small affair. By tradition, they also include both human and animal sacrifice. Bring forth tradition matters. The god shall taste human blood. We will designate a chief sacrifice from among our prisoners. Do we have prisoners? Yes, we do. This uh, chief test Drif Drifa of Bunin. Only the best sacrifices shall suffice. Nah. Go with this. Okay, now we're looting. Now I can see we're looting. Oh no. And we have lost. Can we raid this is the big question. What are you? Our granddaughter. And you will become a steward. And you will matrilineally be married to someone who has something good. Quick, he is good for you. He will become this. 
and not be married to anything. Well, her maybe. Question is, can we raid this or do we have to be in water? Next to water. Oh, we can raid this. Very good. Next we go here. I'm not even going to consider this. Okay. The guests at the bolt. No, blood. I'm sorry, I'm completely misreading this plot. Uh, are so numerous that they blanket the area around the temple, sending up a cacophonous roar of a gaggle of terrified prisoners on march towards the sacrifice. The Oden to Freya to Njöder. This seems an excellent opportunity to impress the nobility. Time to rub shoulders with the common folk. Yeah. All the counts will be impressed, meaning our whole son. That's a interesting way of going there. Oh yeah, they're raising troops. They want to be gone. My arm against yours. What do you say, Eric? Burps, my son-in-law, aren't fast. Between draughts of his tankard, the middle-aged man flexes his muscles proudly. Think you can take me in arm wrestling? You dare challenge me? Sure, I know a trick or two. Yeah, we'll go for a trick or two. He uncovers our duplicity. Oh, no. We're leaving, but if you definitely, 100% definitely want to fight us, might not enjoy it. Avaricious holding taxes and stewardship goes up. So where to next? Ah, oh, they can actually deal with us. I came across as an insensitive meddler. We will immediately depart after taking this because they definitely have the troops to challenge us. And embarking does cost a little bit of time. Where next? Lyon, maybe? How's Paris looking? Paris is looking fine. Sail down the river. Oh no. There was a bit of an army there, right next to us. And we lost all our gold that we had collected to this point. That is real good. That is fantastic work on my end. Well done me, well done indeed. That was so worthwhile, my my. Another of our child has children has died. Um in frozen grief. We become uh, let's become melancholic. Oh, are you... weren't you already my court physician? They appointed someone.
Okay, they're coming for more. But as it seems, we are quite capable of dealing with them. We'll take this and then we go. We've made a fool of ourselves. Another uh, granddaughter who will go in this direction. Intrigue. No reason really, I just like to do it. And not within the family if we can avoid it. Yes, yes, I'll come to the war. Once I return my troops home from the epic raids that we did and brought back almost nothing. Okay, every battle we engage in costs us money, really. That's just the that's just the base of it. It's not worthwhile for us to fight while raiding. And we are being raided. How dare you? Weren't we allies at some point? You fool. Our raiders have returned, bringing some loot, other stuff. Let's raise everyone here. Wow, we don't have anyone. That's that's real good stuff. Portland. War declared. Um. Oh. Yeah, we ransom this dude. I don't want to demand payment. And we don't really, but we could all call him. What makes you think you can do this? Because you have an ally on your side. Okay, that's bad. We have weakened ourselves severely through raiding. They, of course, smell blood. And for good reason. We'll walk in hopes of supporting our ally here in time I don't think we'll get there in time hmm. well we can't change course now anymore so we're just going in fighting but our troops are way better than theirs, so numbers don't seem to do this. Very good, so now we can go siege here. And... We've lost a counselor again. <laughs> oh no. Sign this guy. Okay, so this is a really good strategy. Having these high is very important because these are what's gonna win us our wars. So let's pump them while we have the prestige. Well, we can't afford them. 
Urver dies. Why are all my dudes dying? Because we're putting our sons in dangerous situations the whole time, it seems. Bubonic plague, wounds, slain in battle, slain in battle. At least they died good deaths. So who are you, my friend? You're not great. But your children are halfway decent. It appears to me. Okay. You will probably lose. We need a commander, of course. Could put him in. I think we're gonna put him in. Good commander. And another war has been declared against us on the chiefdom of her. Oh god, no, not not this one. Not our thing. Okay, another son of ours died in battle. Uh, this is this is really really bad right now. The situation we're finding ourselves in is terrible. But we can achieve uh, some mercenaries here. That is what we can do. Uh, our troops are being beaten right there right now. Can we go white piece? He will not accept the white piece, so we are done. Pretty much. We will lose both these wars now, is what's going to happen. And for some reason, we don't have any soldiers available to raise, so yeah, we're dying. We're dying. And I also don't have people anymore to put in any position because everyone keeps dying. Uh. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, these are our allies. These there are not our allies. We are so double dead done. He can't come to anything, he already is. Daughter can get married. Who is she? This man. This one can get married. I think we need to expand to all. City of Hamburg. Power. Grand City of Hamburg. They have four. Ah, uh, no. Peasant revolt? No. You bring nothing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ha, the raiding was really, really successful for us, wasn't it? Helped. Helped the bunch, didn't it? There comes the enemy, and we have nothing to defend ourselves with. Well, we're bringing in some allied troops still, and our own are recuperating a little bit. Maybe these are hostile to each other? It appears they might be. And indeed they are, so our, our enemies are fighting each other. That's decent for us. Um. What?
our alliance with Yemtland. I can't call you in, it's broken. Um, let's go fight them. Our allies are hot on our heels. Will we get battle here? No. But we will lose troops. Oh no. Don't don't catch my reinforcements, boy. Okay, so we resiege this. There. Enemy troops are sitting on our home. Which I definitely don't like. We will be quicker in sieging than they will be, I hope. Come on. Oh god, it's crawling. It's so slow. With these we just need um, a white piece. I don't care. Can we get the white piece? Very good. You just go away. And you lot, we're going to obliterate. Flexible leader and aggressive attacker. He's like the best offensive leader you can get. Or one of the best. Well, will we catch them? Yes. Our glory is wildly known. Vengeance. We have the loathsome Jarl Bjorn of Sjelland at our mercy. I will tear his ribs into blood wings, so we do a blood eagle on him. We gain 25 dread. Yeah. He gets sacrificed. What is this war? That. Where we wouldn't be able to help anyway. Forging the Yom's Vikings. Chieftain Askel. Vicious and Raisin. What makes this unusual is that the invasion seems to have had a religious motivation. Askel had partnered with an Astarus zealot named Anundr to set up a warrior brotherhood that they call the Yom's Vikings. The group claims that they will enforce the old way, striking against the Abrahamics, reformists and rivals. All shall know Odin's wrath. Holy Order can be founded. Sorry dude, this is not for raiding. This is for me taking. And next, I think we will attack him. More stewardship. Direct vassal opinion. So let's push that a bit. So it is expensive, as you can see, but prestige comes kind of easy compared to gold. Even if we finish, I want to siege this down. I want to be done here. There we go. Got a little bit of gold out of it. And now do we send some troops here? I mean, he's getting obliterated from all sides. We will. At least we can gain some gold and some prestige out of it, I believe. And 
these guys have a truce with us. Our mercenary contract expires. Can't take this, so we go and try to take this then. So far we have lost gold in this war for boarding our ships all the time. Now the peasants can be satisfied. Oh no 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 no. Please don't go to battle with these guys. I'll just bring him home. And give them a good commander. Oh hello. That's the that's the mercenary leader, I think. Our daughter can marry. And city of Hamburg, which doesn't help us one bit. And no one here has traits that are worthwhile. I mean the giants are kinda of fine. They're not good traits, obviously, but... The 64 year old is too old, 68 is too old. I mean, we can try. Maybe, maybe, maybe we get the trait into the family line. That was the mercenary contract. Uh, we will go on a good workout. Alright, I think we'll leave it here. I just kind of want to get out of this war. Would be nice if we could do something with them. Let's see, reset. Doesn't look like it. You know, get get a bit of a bigger ally going. No, why not? We have too many existing alliances, do we? We have like two. Okay, we have been defeated so we can disband. Let's check again. If it's really that we have too many alliances. Geland is far too small. And... We need someone else. We need someone else. Something bigger. Stronger. Estonia has too many of the islands that we need and want. Sweden has some as well. Do we really need all of them? That's kinda... Are these all islands as well? Does this count? No idea. Oh, this has broken apart a little bit. That's good. We can take something up here. Maybe get an alliance there. I mean, a thousand men is a thousand men. It's uh, at this point in time, it's nothing to scoff at. Maybe we can get them. Ethelreth. They would be something. Different faith. I think. We have here. These are a little bit too beset by enemies. Too many existing alliances. How many alliances do I have? This. Three chieftains. That's not smart. I mean, this one is pretty strong, 1,200. And these guys are now gone. Eat the High Chieftain. I mean, it would work. <sighs> Invade the kingdom. Could subjugate him. Just with our troops. But I think for now we're just gonna replenish. 
and I'll see you around next time. Thank you for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.